Hi, so um, my name is Erica, and this is my channel, uh, Creekside Catholics. And I am using the Mater Amabilis um, homeschool curriculum. And I looked online and I couldn't find anything, um, not very much anyway, um, about how to do it or really much of anything. There's a lot of um, um, Charlotte Mason stuff, like the Simply Charlotte Mason. I've used a lot of her videos for help on like narration and just all that kind of stuff, but um, not really specific to Mater Amabilis. So I wanted to do it myself. I figured I'm jumping in both feet. And so I'll take people along the ride and maybe, you know, they can learn some things from me and give me tips on, nope, you're not doing that right. <laughs> um, so I figured, you know, it's worth a shot. You can look at books. You can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm not following it exactly. Um, There's some books that I'm, I'm holding off on using until they're older because I know my children. Um, I think you'll find that too with some books. You know your kids and you know if they're ready for some of the heavy hitter material. Just more, um, I don't know. For example, this country of ours, um, that's one of the books. And I don't feel like my daughter is ready for it. They want you to start it in first grade. Yeah, first grade. And I know my son's not going to sit for it. I know my eight-year-old daughter isn't going to sit for it. She's going to tune out. Even if I do a bunch of voices, it's not going to matter. Um, so I'm switching out. So some of the other like um, supportive material, supportive books, um, I'm using those instead. And I'm going to hold off um, on this country of ours until about sixth grade for my daughter. And then we're just going to do some other things. We're in Michigan, so I'm going to do Michigan history because that wasn't something I saw in the program was your state history. Um, so... I'll probably be doing that with her this year. Um, since we're taking a lighter, um, we're not, we're still doing U.S. history, but we're not using this country of ours. So we're losing a little bit there. Um, she's still going to get the stuff that I read to her brother. She's still going to hear it, but I, I want to focus on maybe Michigan history instead. So um, anyway, this is who I am. Um, I have six kids. Um, my oldest is going to be 22 in a few days. And then my youngest is six. I have three girls and three boys. Four from my first marriage. Two are from my current marriage. Um, we haven't been Catholic that long. Only a couple of years. And with everything going on and seeing what's happened to my older kids, um, I can see how the schools have affected them and just the culture has affected them and it's really sad to me and I don't want that to happen to my younger kids I just I want to be like a mother hen and just collect my kids and keep them close and teach them the faith so they never depart from it and it's I can already see the difference and it really breaks my heart because, you know, we came into the faith so late and they just, my older kids have really, they have lost out and I'm hoping and I pray, I pray every night for them, but it's, it's hard to, um, you know, they're kind of set now. And it's that rough teenage years where they don't really want to listen. And they're not home with me on the weekends, my older ones, to even go to church with us. They're with their dad. So um, just please pray for my older kids. Um, but anyway, that wasn't what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> um, anyway, this is, this is me. And, and we're just going to keep it real here. <laughs> 
So thanks for your, for joining me and I'll be bringing you more once I get further along and it's only July. I'm already preparing. I have all my books, I have notebooks, planner, everything. Um, so I'll show you all that coming up. So bye.